In this video, I'll teach you how to embed a Google Maps into your Webflow website. Let's get straight into it. So in this first example website, visa3i.com slash contact dash us, you'll notice this is a very typical contact us page with a form. And below that form, there is actually an embedded Google Maps that is in the website. I'm sure you guys have seen this many, many times before, but how do we actually embed this in Webflow? And more importantly, how can we do it efficiently and in a way that we are in control of the code? Let's go ahead and jump into Google Maps and let's go ahead and just pick a random location. I've decided to pick Fort San Diego in Manila, Philippines. Truly an amazing place if you guys have not been. And what you can do from here, whatever your location is, just go ahead and go Google Maps, type it in on the search bar and you'll see that pin icon. Where we actually wanna go is right here where it says share. We can actually click into this and what we can do is we can actually just share the link itself, which is right here. Or we can actually click embed a map, which is what we want to do in this specific case. And it actually gives you a bunch of options like custom size. Uh, you can also do like small or medium. The default is medium. So let's go ahead and just use the default, but I'll show you guys how to edit the code so you can actually custom have whatever frame you want. So now you just want to click copy HTML. We can go ahead and go into Webflow. And as you can see, I just have a random, you know, a project with a nav bar, you know, a text about Fort Santiago, as well as a really nice picture below that. Um, and what I can do here is I have a wrapper with another div called Hero Split Left, which is taking 46% of the screen, and another Hero Split 2, which is taking 46% 46, 46 of the screen. So that's just what I have. You can have whatever you want, but as long as you understand the premise of how web, de web development works, um, you should be good. So in this specific div block that I've created, I'm gonna go ahead and click Command E and go ahead and just type in embed. So I wanna drag in an embed code. Uh, another way of doing that, I could have just went to the plus right here and then go to elements and scroll all the way down to embed, which is here and drag it onto the canvas. That's another way of doing it. Um, but once you have the embed, you wanna go ahead and just give it a class straight away. This is great habit. Um, a very easy way to tell if someone's a novice in Webflow is if they don't name classes and it auto names everything and it's like div block one, div block two, div block three, etc. Uh, that's how you know they're a noob. So don't be a noob. Okay, let's go ahead and just call this Google Maps Embed. And then in this embed, we can go ahead and go into the settings to open it up. And we can go ahead and just paste our code that we just copied from Google Maps. And you can see that's it. We can go ahead and hit save and close. And we can actually see everything live and working straight off the canvas. Um, but this isn't the actual best way of doing it. You'll notice that I have this wrapper right here and this actual map embed is actually protruding off this div block. So, you know, if one obvious way of seeing it is you can see there's a blue line here or I can just click, you know, overflow clip or hidden and you'll notice that it's cutting it off now. That's not the best way of doing it. Sure, you can, you know, wiggle everything around the Google Maps embed, but the better way of doing it is go back into that code. And again, it doesn't matter which one you've copied, the small, medium, or large. We can actually change the width from 600 pixels. This is fixed pixel. That's why that's why this is acting up to just 100%. And we can also change the height from 450 fixed pixel to 100%. And what this would do essentially is it would actually get the width and the height 100% from the parent container or the parent div or the div itself. So in this case, it's Google Maps Embed. That's the class that we just added. And right now we can see the width is auto and the height is auto, but now we can actually manipulate it. So right here in the width, we can put 100%. And in the height, we can put something either a pixel or using a more responsive unit. Let's just say, for example, in this case scenario, we will use 46 DVH. DVH is device viewport height. So it's essentially the viewport height. So it's gonna take roughly 46% of any monitor height, regardless of what the actual height is. So I hit enter. And you can see now it's looking cool. So again, you can style this to whatever whatever you want. Right now, again, I put the width as 100%, which means it's taking it from the parent element. And if I go back to hero split two, it's actually taking 40% of the parent element, which is taking auto, which is taken from the container, which is a max width of 940 pixels. But this is standard web development stuff. I'm not gonna go into it. That is how I'll embed a Google Maps. Everything is done. Of course, you can go into like different breakpoints and you can change it up. I'm not gonna do that. 
And that's essentially how you invent a Google Maps. And I hope you found this video helpful and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Peace.